and welcome to another budget and legged video as you can see we've got a breakout box here and we have a battery down here i am going to be doing a full video on this showing you what you can actually do with this because you can just do a lot more than just measure can networks and stuff like that they are absolutely fantastic and this particular one you can actually uh it's like a memory saver as well i'm going to change the battery in this car and i don't want to lose the memory for the radio now depend on your car you might need to use a memory saver because you can lose all types of module codes and all sorts. Some cars, the, the car might not start after you replace the battery because you've lost important codes. So it is very, very important to know before you disconnect your battery what the protocol is for that particular car. But with this, we're going to actually be able to save it. I got this from Ryan's Automotive. I will leave all the links down below. I actually paid for this. This wasn't a freebie. Um, they just have so much stuff there um it's kind of it's just a lot easier for you to go over to the website and um actually see what they've got and they're in ireland too and they're a few hours away from me which is awesome we will also be doing uh, a training days with them i'll be going down there and filming some of their training days as well so there's a lot to come from them but this is a breakout box so what we're going to do this particular one which i prefer has the voltage so what i'm going to do is just hook my lead up to our battery here and as you can see we will have oh we can't see properly is it gonna focus there we go 12.5 so it's more or less fully charged and uh, we can see we're lighting up what I'm gonna do now is plug the other end of the breakout box into our obd2 plug which you can't quite see so let me turn the camera on what i meant to say is let's actually turn the uh, light on so we can plug that in to our obd2 connection and just rip it off there well done leon let's have to plug that back in <laughs> it just slides back on just under there let's do it now before we get too many complaints there we go so we're now onto our box onto our battery and we're onto our box so now what we can do very simply is just leave that to the side and now i can actually change the battery which is under here you can see there we're going to change the battery no point me actually going through uh, showing changing the battery because it's just a couple of bolts but when we uh Turn the ignition on, you will see the radio works. There we go. So, if I disconnect that battery now, the radio code will still be in. The other good thing about this is we have our battery monitor on. So, if we are going too low, we can actually monitor the battery and we know we can maybe put a charger on this. If we have to disconnect the battery for a long time for whatever reason, we can actually monitor the battery, which is really, really good, rather than just kind of guessing. Right, so the Vatum, which is a good battery, a 640 amp hour battery. We're replacing it with a 740. So we're replacing it with a bigger cold cranking amps battery, which is obviously good. I always say the bigger battery, the better. The bigger battery you can fit in your car, the better, because if it's getting slightly dodgy, you've got that little bit more uh, cranking amps just to kind of get you started. So, we're going to disconnect this now. We still have our breakout box connected. And uh, we're going to save all the codes for our radio. And like I said, if you've got any module codes or anything, this will save it all for us. Right, also what this will do is when the battery's getting low, it will bleep at you. So you know there's an issue. Now, I know that I don't need a lot of power just to keep this radio alive. This battery is a bit dodgy, but I know it's good enough for the radio code. But like I said, you can hear that noise there now. It's just stopped, but it does warn you to say, look, your battery's going low. Sort it out before you have an issue. The reason why it stopped bleeping is because I had the power lead kind of just off this battery and it just obviously connected itself and gave it more power that's why it stopped beeping but there you go new battery on we can now slide this back you'll see the voltage has gone up again we will disconnect this 
It's now disconnected. Turn on the ignition. First, let's see if it starts. There we go, lovely jubbly. And now, radio code. And there we go, people. See, we did not lose anything. All down to our breakout box. Like I said, I'll leave all the links in the description uh, for Ryan's Automotive and that. They don't have any more of these in, so don't be asking for these yet. I'm not sure if they're gonna get more of this particular type in, but you can always ask the question. But like I said, they have loads and loads of stuff. And there's gonna be a video coming up on this um what it is how to use it why you need one and just the sort of things you can actually do with the breakout box so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below check out my facebook patreon instagram and all the usual stuff but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted